Isn't Terp in like Hicks's Discord? Yeah. yeah. Oh, there's a glass in the garage. Shark, me, reloading! Here, shark, shark, come back I to the bomb. door. Shark, I bomb grab. Op 4, last operator. Op 4 eliminated. Mission we love shock. We love shock. <laughs> Alright, so I've got a lot of requests to do some sort of like uh, settings video. Um, so I thought I'd make a video really quick. A little section of this video. Run through all my settings for you guys. Um, you guys test them out if you'd like. So we'll go through controls first. So I keep raw input off. Um, I just like I didn't really notice the difference between turning it on and off, and there were some bugs with it when it first came out. Um, so I just I've just kept it off. Uh, my sense, uh, fourteen, fourteen, fifty-five. I've been on this for a good like probably like two years now. Um, I really like the faster horizontal vertical and with the lower ADS. Um, it's something like I know Shaco does. Um, I don't know. I just really like it. I've I just kind of kept it forever now, so I'm used to it. Uh, mouse scroll off. Um, the reason I have this off is is because like I would accidentally when this wasn't an option, you used to not be able to turn mouse scroll off. So when this wasn't an option, I'd somehow accidentally hit scroll wheel a lot, and uh, it would switch my weapons like mid gunfight. So I kept this off, and I got used to just doing uh one and two to switch weapons. Um, so definitely worth it. If you don't do this already, I'd recommend turning this off. Um, gadget deployment, drone deployment. I would keep these on advanced. Um, it's it's just better in my opinion. Um, then if you have it on standard, when you hit your gadget button, you're gonna immediately go into your gadget and you're not gonna be able to turn it off or anything. Um, whereas like advanced, so you're gonna go place a thermite charge. If you have it on standard, you're gonna hit your gadget button and it's gonna it's just gonna start placing. You can't stop it. But with advanced, you have to hold it right. Um. Or you have to like click the button and then hold it and you can cancel it. Uh, so same thing with uh, drone deployment here. Standard, you'll throw your drone and you, you'll get on it instantly. Um, I don't like that as much. I like advanced better where you throw your drone and then have to hit five to get on it. That way like you kind of bait more. You know, you're outside a window, you throw your drone. Uh, see if that guy's going to jump out on you instead of being locked in the animation. Um, so in my opinion, that's better to have on advanced. Uh, aim on toggle. So I'll kind of explain this a little bit. I've had a lot of people ask me what this does. A lot of people don't know what it even is. So basically, um, when you aim down sights on hold, which hold is default. Um, so like when you aim down sights on hold, you you have to you have to hold right click to ADS. Whereas toggle aim, uh, you got you just gotta click right click once and it'll ADS you in, and then unclick it. Or like just click again and it'll unADSC, right? So like I find uh toggle aim, I put less pressure on my mouse, a little bit easier for me to aim. Um holding angles is easier for me as well. Uh so I don't know. It's just personal preference really. Um it took me months to get used to toggle from hold because I'd never played toggle before. So if you do want to switch to toggle, just know it's gonna take a lot of time and patience. Uh it can be like really frustrating. You'll be like on ADSing mid gunfights and stuff, it'll it'll be ridiculous. But in my opinion, it's worth it in the end if you do decide to try it out. Uh, so my leans are on toggle. Uh, it's just easier for me. Um, I guess my fingers aren't flexible enough for hold. But again, this is more personal preference. Um, front on hold. Uh, crouch, prone, and walk all on toggle. Um, so we'll go through my controls real quick. I'll kind of just scroll through here for you guys. And you can just pause whenever you want. Take a look at anything. Um, I haven't changed too much. Mainly just like uh, the gadgets. Uh, put them different keys on my mouse. Um, but yeah. So that's all. And then just spectator commands or controls. All right. So uh, graphic settings, uh, custom. I don't do any of the preset ones. Uh, I like to put everything on low or off to maximize my FPS. Um, the only thing I keep on medium is shadows. That way I have dynamic shadows. So like anything moving, their shadow will also move. Um, whereas if you have this on low, you won't get those dynamic shadows. Every every shadow you see will just be static. Uh, so definitely keep shadows on medium. A lot of people don't know that. Um, 
it's definitely worth to have on medium and then everything else uh definitely just low or off if you need to maximize fps so for display um it's my monitor my resolution is 1920 1080 i've never changed this i've always played on just basic res um full screen of course uh, my monitor is a 240 hertz monitor so i have that on 240 uh, i played on 4.3 i played on 4.3 for like two years now um this is more a personal preference thing i like my one x's i like my hollows my reflexes stuff like that i'm not a big acog guy so uh 4.3 is just better for me than like 69 69 is more of like the acog uh sort of aspect but 4.3 is good for me uh v-sync off of course v-sync's bad widescreen letterbox off that's really bad field of view uh 84 so i got this fov from shiko um but like i used to play 90 uh when i first switched to 4.3 90 is good if you want to still use acogs on 4.3 i'd recommend using 90 but if you're going to stick to more one x's uh i'd say 84 is pretty good um and for my brightness i just use 70 so we go to audio. Uh, my Windows volume is 70. My master volume in game is also 70. I got subtitles off, which actually should be on. I don't know why they're off. Um, English. Music volume I've got off. I just don't care to hear the music in the menu or anything. So I, I keep that off. Uh, dialogue, 60. Dynamic range. So it's been a minute and I think they've changed these around. So I can't say exactly what they all do now because, again, they've, they've changed it. But for me, night mode has been the best. Uh, when I first switched to night mode, it made footsteps louder and like gunshots and everything quieter. Um, so I've stayed on that. I'm not sure if it's the same, but it works for me. I hear everything just fine. So uh, voice chat volume 80. Uh, that's on. Push to talk. And that's about it for audio settings. Gameplay. Uh, make sure your pings are on. Some people have this off. Um... I don't even know why this is a setting. This is when you ping in game, like the yellow ping, uh, to call out something. This just turns off. I don't know why you'd want that off unless you're doing some sort of like custom game. But definitely keep that on. Um, I've seen people turn that off for whatever reason, but just make sure it's on. Uh, but I think that's about it for this. Um, so you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Oh. Yeah, vigils are fun. Fire help at all? Reloading! The killer? There's one more in the bathroom, I think. <laughs> I love how it's him. That was that's really Ella. That's Ella. Oh, G-Tricks is dead. So there's no. Was he maestro? No. Changing mags. He's bigger though. Ella's on mark. Dealing with in the basement. There's an armada down. You're just putting praying my down. Get your window. That's stock. It's my favorite op, Digital. Or, or, I've been playing a lot of Mozzie recently. I've been having a lot of fun with Mozzie. Like, I don't, I don't know. Top four last stop standing. Right, Is he fucking side. dead? Holy shit, man. This guy has been down here the entire round. <laughs> the battlefield. <laughs> Wait, why, why should I pick this door? Like, <laughs> oh, dude. Like, holy oh man. What the fuck? She's the fuck out of me. She's dumb. Hold up, I wanna try something. They're outside. I think he's replying white window. He's replying. Wow. 
Almost done. Last operator standing. 